Greetings, everyone. In order to know who you are, you have to have confidence in yourself. Marcus Garvey say, without confidence, you're twice defeated in this game of life. And I want you to know, it's okay to stand up for yourself. As the old proverb goes, if you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for anything. In this world, people are creating sheeps. And so we are expected to go to mama and papa of the world to fight our battles. But listen, you have the power to stand up and fight for your own rights. Let me give you an example. And some of these apps, you got individuals that will come to you. They disagree with your point of view. And there's nothing wrong with that. But it's the way they come at you. They go at the lowest level. And they don't just attack your argument. Because you see, the people who are really illiterate are unable to attack your argument. They attack you personally. And they have been doing it for so long. But the truth is, you know, some of these platforms that we are on, Give them the right to do that. Yes, they say, report. And we always have the right to block them and all that stuff. But some people, that does not stop them. You, re you report them, you block them. They just create a new page. Sometimes you got to meet them where they're at. So, for example, on TikTok, you know, I created a little video that really is meant to be fun. And it's also provocative. And so individuals do not like it. I'm not going to mention it here because I'm not trying to promote this person right now. And an individual slid into my inbox and made some disparaging remarks. And I just laughed it off. They, they were actually doing it under the video. And I just laughed it off. I ignored. I didn't block or delete anybody. I just let them talk. It's their mouth or their mind. But the person slid in my inbox again, and this time the person went low. And I decided that, you know, because I'm a spiritual person doesn't mean that I'm going to allow, you know, some peasant to disrespect me. So the argument the person gave to me, I just turned it around, you know, and I said, if you were not living in a one room with, you know, whomever, you wouldn't get to see that people possess those quality parts. Read. Read through these lines because you know what some Jamaicans love to tell people what to do with whatever, whatever, which part of their parts parts are super large and things like that. So I said, the only reason why you know that is because you live in the room and you've been seeing, you know, all these going on in, ins and outs. Well, it, it burned the individual and they went to report it. Well, this app didn't see when this person was harassing. And this is the second time it's happening to me. Some person living next door to me was doing some horrible things. And I videotaped it and they took that video down. So what that's really saying to me is that you're trying to create sheep. You're trying to create this dependency on people. When people violate you, you, you run to mama and papa and tell mama and papa to take care of it. Um, and sometimes that's okay with me. Sometimes it ain't. Sometimes I'm going to go down there, you see, and I'm going to put you in your place. It's not always necessary to do that. Sometimes you just ignore these ones. You can tell, but when the energy jumps in me and say, this is a nanny moment, I'm going to take it. So when I gave back the person their medicine, they ran screaming. It was the best, what do you call it? I don't know if it's a block or it's it's a suspension. That was the first time I was ever using my, my message, my inbox. I usually don't even go in there. So when I saw the thing pop up because of this video that was doing so well and people were reaching out and having conversation, I, I go in to check what they were saying and hear this person more than once. Let me tell you something about this life that we're living in. 
people will constantly violate you. They'll constantly do things to you and yours. If you don't get the courage to stand up, it's not a low vibrational thing when you're defending your honor, we're defending yourself. And yes, sometimes you ignore, but sometimes you got to stand up. I'm at that point in my life now where I am standing up on my own square. And at times I'm going to have my hind legs up because as a woman, triple oppressed, I have to be 10 steps ahead. And I'm just being, I'm just being nice when I say 10 steps ahead because it has to be more. You got to pivot in the spot where you're at. You have to look around you to see your escape. And you have to anticipate someone else's move in order to protect yourself. Because you see, in this world, when we're doing the survival thing, there's always going to be someone who is in a better position than you who wants to take you down or take you out. What you're doing does not affect them. It doesn't change their livelihood. Let's, for for example, you go to work somewhere and you are the entry level person. You're making the least money, but someone is always going to feel threatened about you because the way you do your work, the way you carry yourself, somebody, somebody is going to seem or feel threatened by you who you are. Even the very love you show to people, there are some people who are not loving. They don't have the ability to love and they don't want to learn. And if they see that in you, if they see that spark in you, they don't like you. Now, I am a person who doesn't like a whole bunch of people. Don't like to be around a whole bunch of person. The energy, I feel it from people. I absorb that. It makes me uncomfortable because... I literally can feel people's energy. And if it's bad, it just overwhelms me. So I try to avoid people. But in cases where I have to be around people, I'm going to be there, but I'm going to be in that corner observing. Because if we go through this life and we're not observing, you see, sometimes when I do review, it will seem like I'm fast in people's business. But it's because I'm observant. I feel things. I hear Things more than what the person is just saying. I see their eyes. I feel their emotion. I know when they're lying. There's a video coming up um, sometime today talking about, you know, these two, this couple that lives in America that people are very angry with at the moment. And I'm going to explain some things. I observe things. I feel it. This is why sometimes I can do a video two, three, four years ago. And finally, this the video starts trending because I was talking about what others could not see. What was seen was the discussion at the time, but what I felt also, what the spirit would impart with me, I would reveal. So I rely heavily on spirit for guidance, but I'm not a pushover. And as I said earlier, I'm not afraid to defend myself or my family. Know yourself. Have confidence in who you are. Trust divine energy within you. Not people so much. And those who are in your corner or in your circle that you find that over time you can trust these ones. Develop that friendship with them. Work with them. Vibrate with them. Share with them. Support them when you can. I have all kinds of vision about supporting the people in my circle, but sometimes it takes a while before you can make that breakthrough. Listen to me in this video. Don't let people walk over you. It's fear why we allow it. When we stand up to people, um, separating ourselves from fear, that energy moves itself from you. People think they can do as they like with you over the years and you just take, take the loss. Because you want to be the one, the, they say, the better one, you know. But sometimes you got to go to their level.
go down face to face with them and speak to that demon that's in them and say, no more. Enough. Stay blessed, everyone.